Good morning. This is Pastor Tom Adams of the Good News Bible Church of Cohasset. In the book of Exodus, chapter 15, we find an interesting account concerning the children of Israel. In verse 22, it says that Moses had led them from the Red Sea into the wilderness, and they went three days and found no water. First of all, notice the time span was three days. Many times in the scriptures there are accounts of important happenings that occurred in three days. Probably the one most familiar to everyone is the story of Jonah being three days and three nights in the belly of the whale. Jesus Christ spoke of that in Matthew chapter 12, verse 40, when he said, For as Jonah was three days and three nights in the belly of the whale, so shall the Son of Man be three days and three nights in the heart of the earth. You see, the entire Bible from Genesis to Revelation points to Jesus Christ in various ways. Looking again at Exodus 15, we see that the children of Israel came to a place called Mara. Mara in the Hebrew simply means bitter. And as the scripture goes on to say, the water there was bitter and couldn't be drank of. Knowing they couldn't survive without water, the Israelites were faced with a huge problem. Therefore, Moses went before God and inquired of him what could be done. God then instructed Moses to cast a tree into the water, and upon doing that, the water became sweet. There's a great scriptural truth concerning Jesus Christ portrayed here. There are several instances where the word water refers to people, such as Revelations chapter 17 and verse 1, and as recorded in Galatians chapter 3 and verse 13. We find that the cross where Jesus Christ suffered and died was referred to as a tree, So you see, the message that is pertinent to you and I and what God is saying is that the bitter water are the sins of the world and that only means of defeating sin is by the death of Jesus Christ on the cross. As Moses fell the tree into the water, they became sweet. Likewise, when you and I look to the death of Jesus Christ as being our only means of salvation, the bitter water of sin has been defeated because by our faith, sin cannot condemn us. When Christ defeated sin by his death, burial, and resurrection, he did so on our behalf. The the Israelites couldn't have survived without water, providing, or without God providing for them. He gave them water, he gave them manna, and all that was necessary for their survival. The point is, you and I cannot by works obtain eternal life. Just as the children of Israel were helpless, we are helpless as well. By our own efforts, we cannot reach that promised land. But because Jesus went to that tree at Calvary and suffered, bled, and died, we, by simply trusting him as being our only means of salvation, not trusting in our own ability, but relying on him and his payment for our sin, we have the assurance of eternal life. In the book of John chapter 4 and verse 14, Jesus says that whosoever drinks the water that he gives them shall never thirst, and the water will be a well springing up unto eternal life. Christ is saying, if you believe in me, you are saved forever. The well of water is referring to the Holy Spirit who seals us and keeps us. This has been Pastor Tom Adams of the Good News Bible Church of Cohasset. I'd like to invite each and every one of you to our Sunday services at 9 a.m. and our Wednesday service at 7 p.m. Until next week, may the grace and love of Christ become more and more real to you each and every day. Goodbye for now, and thank you for listening.